Hundreds of opposition protesters took to the streets in Ghana's capital Accra on Tuesday to denounce the country's lingering economic crisis, blaming it on the central bank governor's policies. Dressed in red and black and banging drums, the protesters waved placards decrying the government's management in Ghana, which is going through its worst economic troubles this year. If the whole country needs one billion from the IMF every year for three years to fix our problem, and anything in one year can superintend the loss of five billion, who is our problem? So, so. This government, they know that they are losing power. They will not come back. They have nothing to lose. Yes. Hey, if the BOG destroys Ghana, they don't care. If Addison runs Ghana down, they, hey, they don't care. But we, the people, must care. Ghana's economic outlook will be a major theme as the country heads to elections next year, with President Nana Akufo Addo stepping down after his two terms allowed by the Constitution. Last year, Ghana entered into a $3 billion loan government with the IMF as a way to shore up its public finances. A major cocoa and gold producer, Ghana's debt loan has grown, and like other sub Saharan African nations, it has struggled with the fallout from the global COVID-19 pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine conflict.